I'm Sarah McDermott. I'm a writer and I have low vision. I identify as a person with an invisible disability because my low vision is not obvious, but it does affect me all the time. I don't like to call a lot of attention to it because I don't want to be defined by it. Even though I have difficulties, at this point I don't feel, quote, disabled, unquote. I mean, I would consider myself blind. <laughs> that's just a practicality. I mean, it's just a fact of life, you know, but, um, but that's totally different than considering yourself disabled. I lost my vision uh, overnight in my right eye when I was 39. I have a condition, or it was a condition called anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. A lot of people just call it a stroke in your eye. After that, a few years after that, I developed a, a like scar tissue attaching to the back of the retina, and my scar tissue it formed into what looked like a um, an ant eater. So I remembered the old uh, play about Harvey the Invisible Rabbit, so I named it Harvey. <laughs> Harvey's in my good eye, or my better eye. <laughs> I know why it happened to me. <laughs> it's because God decided that I needed to learn something, to be stronger, to learn that I was competent, to become more confident, things like that. I belong to the Baha'i faith, and I believe that God sends difficulties into your life so that you can grow spiritually and develop strengths and virtues and, and help other people to do the same. My first novel, Blind Sight, the heroine is blind. She, she was inspired by the people that I have known who have been blind or visually impaired and by all the amazing ways that they live and things that they do. And I really wanted her to open readers' eyes because people in the general culture believe that they can't, they must not be as productive, as quick, as smart, as whatever. I think they tend to really underestimate how many people are out there with low vision or another invisible disability. And they tend, people tend to be judgmental and angry and, you know, but it's hard for people to overcome prejudices and that's what they are. If I hadn't developed low vision, I would never have been able to write this character. And so that's a bonus for me <laughs> of having the low vision. It, it led me in this direction and I found what I needed to be writing about.